Some have called this jet bad before. I don't believe in such talk. This is great jet with great flying abilities all of the time, and I will prove it today. Some altitude here. Okay, low pass. Landing gear down. Looks good. Slower pass. Hard to see. Good. Bring it up. Bring it up. Looks like it could land easily. Full flaps. I think I can do better. Wow, that's still hot. Let's see if it just wasn't a coincidence. Okay, no coincidence. We're good, no flaps. I think we got it. So the CG is really critical on this kind of jet, even as, as it was, I think, on the uh, 70 millimeter. You can't just finger balance and kind of fudge it by, you know, it has to be on the fingertips to get an exact measurement. And here's mine right here. The one closest to the bottom of the mark the 75 millimeters and I think it could go even more maybe even 72 
possibly 70. Fly by. Oh, jeez. I think I got it. Plenty of runway left. That's it for the day, guys. Hope you learned something. Hopefully things will get better and better. I mean, I'm not an expert at this jet, but it has its characteristics. It's a lot like the uh, F-16 that I had to really fly nose heavy until I learned how to fly it. So I'd say, just my recommendation, not responsible if some somebody crashes, but 70 millimeters to 75 to start out, you know, I wouldn't knock that for a CG. I'm out. <laughs>